Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Frostpunk. This is a uh, post-apocalyptic colony survival game set in uh, in the late 1900s. Basically we have this, uh, some sort of ice age thing has sort of frozen over the earth. We have the last bits of humanity here uh, at this colony and we have to do the things to keep them to survive. You know, keep them warm, keep them fed, keep them happy. And, uh, and yeah, it's been developed by 11-Bit Studios, which you may be familiar with him with This War of Mine. This one is not out yet, but it's set to be out, I believe, t early 2018, I think is the plan. Uh, I, we have a, a, a demo that the devs have sent me to show off, so let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, it's a colony survival game. We'll get a bit of a story here to kind of get an idea of what's going on with this. In the summer of 1886, the snowstorms began. Crops failed. People starved. Millions fled south. They meant only chaos, famine, and death. In the furthest reaches of the resource-rich north, the British Empire began construction, uh, construction of heat-bearing generators where a chosen few could survive safe from the chaos of crumbling civilization. They ran out of time. An apocalyptic ice storm came from the south, devouring all in its path. People fled in panic. Some managed to cross the seas and reach the site of a generator, only to find it frozen solid. The generator was designed to power a city capable to weather the end of the world. It falls to us to build it. So this is where we start. We have this generator. This is this thing here is a generator which provides heat for us. We have to build our buildings around it. Uh, I'm going to pause the game real quick. We need a generator working. It provides heat to power the other buildings. Without it, we freeze to death. Stockpile some coal to start the generator. I'm going to pause the game real quick. So here is the game. We have resources up here in the top left corner. We've got things like wood and steel and food and cooked food, and coal. We need coal to power the generator. The generator produces heat, which we use to keep our people happy, alive, and healthy. Uh, there is a discontent and a hope bar down here. This is sort of the morale of the colony that we have. Uh, one thing interesting about this game is there is the the book of laws that we can we can enact. We'll get to this in a moment, but things like things that come up like what do you do with your dead? What do you do with the kids? Do you work them? Do you you know that kind of that kind of stuff that pops up in uh, this kind of thing. So we'll get to that as time goes on. But for right now, our goal is to activate the generator by heading, uh, getting some coal here. So we've got several folks that live in this colony. We've got, I think it's 80, right? We've got 50 workers. We've got 15 engineers, which are folks that work in like the med bay, in the uh, the workshop to study new techs. And, uh, and we have 15 kids here. So we want to give them a job. First off, we need to get some coal. And there is coal over here. we got a couple stockpiles over here. So we're going to send 15 workers to come head out here to go grab some coal. And you'll see them head out and they'll start walking that way. Through the snow, trudging through the snow to go grab some coal to haul back to our generator here. Uh, we also want to get some wood. That's also another resources that we're going to need. And there is some wood crates right here next to the steel wreckage. So let's go ahead and send out, we'll send out 15 there as well. And they will set out to go pick that up. Now we could make things easier on them and build them maybe some roads out here so they can don't have to walk through the snow. Uh, we need our wood right now, though, so we're gonna... Too bad. They're gonna have to go for it. As soon as we get some coal in here, which we do have a bit, we're gonna crank this generator on. I think we're good to do it right now, right? No, not yet. How much do we need? I'm not sure how much we need to actually get a thing on. Generator turned off. All buildings that use steam or require the heat zone are down, and we must bring it back online or we'll freeze to death. Yeah, so we'll get there in a moment. As soon as we get some more coal. You get, we got 13 in here right now. Let's crank up the speed here. So we'll show off some of the bits and bobs of the game. We've got our construction zone. We can make tents for our people. We can make a medical post here. We've got a cookhouse and a hunter's hut as well in order to gather food. Resource department, uh, a depot, and a gathering post helps gather resources. And we have a workshop which we use to learn new tech. We use that tech to make new things. There we go. Steam level 1. Okay, okay. So if we want to go to steam level 2, we have to research how to do that in the workshop. So now this gives us a small range here of, of work. It works only in sort of this circle here in the middle of, of the base. We see we have a couple of buildings. This is a stockpile building right here. We can build more things around this area, and it'll stay reasonably warm as long as it's near the generator. In time, we can make the generator better. We can add little heat pumps to heat certain areas on the map. Uh, but for now, we have heat. We've got a bit of coal, 17 hours worth of coal to keep ourselves somewhat warm. Once we get 200 coal, we can go ahead and uh, move on to the next step. I do have the tutorial on, which I meant to turn off, but it's all right. This will remind me to not do stupid things. Uh, so next, probably our next priority is gonna be getting food in here, right? So we're gonna throw ourselves, we have a hunter's hut, which gives us 
raw food and we have a cookhouse which cooks that raw food. So we're going to go ahead and get one of these and we're going to send them out to go and get us some uh, some food. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stick it back. This doesn't, I don't think it doesn't need to be hot because they wander out and go do their thing. So I'm just going to set it on the second ring. You can see there's different, you can put it all anywhere out here. Uh, if it's close in, it's getting, it's getting warmth. If it's further out, it's not getting warmth unless we have a better generator. Uh, let's put it here. We also need to go and get ourselves a cook shop, right? So cookhouse is going to go right over here. Like that. And they'll get to work on that. So the end of the day is here. It's 1800 hours. So everyone is done working for the day. They're going to come home and they try to go to sleep. We have a thing that has popped up here, though. These are, this is going to force us to enact a law. The people are, are whining about something and we have to do something about it. A few of the people are concerned about the lack of shelter. Sleeping on the ground raises risks of falling ill. What do we do about it? Do we set up some tents? Which gives us we, two days to provide shelter for these people. Or do we say, you know what, I'm going to give shelter for everyone in two days. All 80 of us. Or we just ignore them right now. This will affect our hope and discontent here in the game. So, I think for now we're just going to throw some tents in there. Just to, you know, it's early on. Just, just to deal with a couple things. So let's go ahead and throw that in. This is going to require wood. Which I have 44 of it. These require 10 each. We need four of those things. We also have the option of making a bunkhouse. It is, uh, it's basically the same thing, just more expensive, and it provides heat, which the tents do not. So the tents kind of need to be inside here. If we're gonna put them in, I'm gonna throw them. Can I make all four of these? I can. So there's the four that they want. So we'll get those things built up here. And you can see I have 80 homeless people here. That's what this is yelling at me about. While we have a moment, let's take a look. It's, it's, it's night time. Let's take a look at our book of laws. So this is the, this is not the tech tree. This is the law tree. Uh, we have different things that we can, we can do here. Say we want to add in a fighting arena, which will make people a little bit happier. Uh, you can see what it does here. It, it obliges me to build the fighting area. If I don't build, they're going to be angry about it. But it will help people be a little bit happier. Emergency shift. This one we will, we can force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours. If we get into a condition where we, we need that, that's an option we can do. We don't have it right now, but if we wanted to, we have to enact this law. Cemetery, corpse disposal, do you, do you just toss them out in the snow or do you properly bury them? Do you, if someone is sick and gravely ill, do you, do you try to, do you keep them alive without any radical treatment? Or do you just go for it and try to make them better to get back on their feet to go back to work? Otherwise, they're going to be hanging around not working. Uh, do you give them sawdust in their bread? Or do you make soup to uh, feed them? Or, or do you give them proper food? That kind of thing. These are all the different options that we have in the game right now. We don't need to deal with it just yet. They will pop up in time. We can also do it ourselves, but some things will happen up. Happen in time. Captain, a word of advice. People usually look for the quickest solutions, not the best ones. You don't have to agree on everything you ask. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. But if you fail, you have to deal with the consequences. That's what I was just mentioning. If we so if we fail to build these houses, they're gonna get pretty angry. Angry about this. I'm gonna, you know, I'm coming in and I'm saying, sure, I'll make you houses, and then I don't, they will be very hacked about that. And we don't want that. So we need to get this coal set up. And I have some extra people lying around here. We've got 20 people who are available doing things. So I'm gonna work on this second coal mine here. We're going to throw in uh, maybe eight more on the second coal pile. And I think we're going to need some steel here. So let's throw in like eight people on the steel. Just to make sure we get some of that coming in. We do need wood as well. Uh, and it, it will happen in time. So let's go ahead and crank it up past the, uh, the night shift here. While they're building the houses. And there we go. Shelter promise has been fulfilled. Which means hope grows. Discontent falls. And there we go. People are very happy. You're welcome, people. First, oh, I got my first sick person. Uh, this is a tutorial thing. So somebody is sick. We need to get a medical post in here. Uh, it's going to be right in here, but I don't have any wood. We need 25 wood in order to make one. So we're going to have to just wait until the next day comes in order to do that. You can see we're very low on coal as well. And yeah, there is a day-night cycle. So folks, you can see this is it. They'll wake up at 6, they go to work at 8, come back at 6, and they go to bed at midnight for 6 hours of sleep. I guess, I'm not sure if we can adjust this. We can adjust longer work hours. Uh, here it is. Uh, many sick, and we don't have enough resources to build a medical post, but perhaps a short burst of effort could help us gather the resources. This is the emergency law shift we were just mentioning before. Do we want to do that so a, a quick 24-hour burst of work? No, we're not going to do that. I think we'll be fine, because there's a bunch of it out here. As soon as we get them out there working, we'll be okay. Just get out there and work. We, could, we have a few extra people. Maybe we should send them on. Maybe we should just do this one. This one's closer. So no one on this one. Put them all here. We have four extra workers. Let's do... We'll put all four of them there. 
We'll drop a couple steel workers off. We got two people hanging around doing nothing. Uh, we need them in here working. Did I put anyone here? I didn't put anyone in the hunter's hut. Oh, dang it. Um, run a little low on people here. So I'm going to adjust this. I'm going to adjust this down to six and, and seven. So there's 15 people on the coal between the two. Uh, we're going to lower the steel down to f three, I think. And the wood down a little bit too, because we gotta get we gotta get people doing the hunters hut. And we're gonna send ten people out getting us some food. We can see we have twenty raw food, zero food rations, because no one's in here working. So we're gonna throw in some workers to get this done. Hopefully get some uh, some food made up here. And I think we're good. We're gonna just sit back for a while and and wait. We do have two extra workers. So we're gonna put them on the coal. Cause I'm a little concerned about the lack of coal here. Sixty one. That's only ten hours of coal. We'll get to the tech tree in a minute, whenever we can get ourselves built a workshop. We can't just yet. Uh, and we can't leave the map. Uh, in time, we will learn to build a balloon and go searching and, and scouting out. It's very sort of, um, what's that? Is it Neo Scavenger? Is that the game where you sort of run around and, uh, and you can scout out to different areas? That's not the game. What's the one I'm thinking of? I can't think of the name of the game. Um... But yeah, where you, you, can, you have your central base, and you can scout out different regions and find things and that sort of thing. What do we have here? we got 40 homeless folks. we got four people are sick, and we definitely need that, desperately need that med bay, which we'll get with, what was it, 35? Or is it 25? 25 woods. We almost have it. Basic metal station with five beds. We can do it now. We're going to throw it in, I think, just right here. There is also a heat temperature overlay here, so this is telling us how the heat is, is doing. So these that are in the red are good. Red means good. So all the tents are comfortable, which means people won't get sick so much. The stockpile is reasonable, and the medical post is also reasonable. The uh, hunter's hut is very chilly, but, you know, it's out there. It's fine. And that is now comfortable as well, which is good. We need that desperately. And all uh, all engineers are going to come in here and work in here. We do have a workforce with names, and, and I think you can actually click on the people, too. Yeah, there's Edna Fenton going to work. She works at the wood crates. Her spouse is Ambrose Fenton. We can't really do anything with him right now, but we have a basic display of them. Uh, so with this with this demo build, we get ten days uh, of life. Not all the tech or anything in there is in there, of course. But we we're on day two right now. We can go all the way to day ten, and then the demo is over. So we'll see how far we can get with this, though. Work day ends. Six o'clock. We got a bit of wood. We can get something made here. Uh, food is a little bit on the short bit. We got one sick. We got three in treatment. We got forty homeless still. What do we want to do? What's our most important thing here? Maybe a second... Let's get the workshop. 15 wood. Yeah, let's get that workshop built. Throw it right... I can't move the map around. I don't think I've shown this yet. You can spin around here. Let's throw this guy over here. That'll give us a workshop, which we can put folks in and start learning some tech. Things like making our generator work a little better, making our hunters work better, making our people gather faster, making us the ability to make boilers in our houses to help with the warmth, that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, food's gonna be a problem. Now, we could do something about the food if we want to. Uh, in here, we can select this one. Food added, we add sawdust to the food. This will, people will get a little angry about this. Some people will, will get ill if we do that. We also have this one, soup. Signing one will, will decrease hope, decrease content, and will cause discontent. Signing it and eating it will cause this. So we're, I don't think we need to do it just yet. We could do the fighting arena. I think we have the wood for this. Daily fighting spectacles will bring discontent down. Siding will slightly increase hope. We have to build it. But I think we do this. How's my wood looking? I'm assuming that's what we need for this. We have 28 wood. Yeah, let's do that. Make people happy. Back into... Uh, where was that? In here fighting arena. You can see there's more that come on here. Uh, dueling law and public house that get added in there later. So now we have a fighting arena. Shall be established. Good betting on fights was the next best thing after the races. Yes, says Charles Metcalf. Throw in our fighting arena. And we're going to put it right... I guess it has to be... I'm assuming this probably has to be warmed up. So we're going to put it right there. Okay. 
The warehouse, or the workshop is now done, so we need to throw in some engineers here to get some work done, and let's get some research done. Now we have a several different options here, and you see as thing as it goes on, it goes down here. We can only I think do the first level at this with this demo here, but we can do boilers. We can build these inside our houses to make things or inside our buildings to make them warmer. A hunter's got hut upgrade might be a good one to do. Actually, I'm, uh, we don't have enough wood. We need tin wood for that. Can I do any of these? Faster gathering, no. Steam hub, beacon, no. Beacon's the one we need to be able to make. Oh, wait, oh, maybe we can do this. We just upgrade the next... Oh, I didn't actually notice this. We upgrade this and it'll use the next level. Oh, I didn't notice that last time. We um, need more wood, and we'll get some research done. Let's pass the time here. Um, we'll learn beacon. So beacon allows us to build a... Uh, basically build a balloon that we can go out searching for other folks. It, it gives us... It puts off a light, I guess, so that our people can find their way back. Maybe other people can come join in as well. I'm not sure, entirely sure. People are just now waking up. Another day, another shift. Well, such is life. This is Hugh Reichman. Fighting room has been established. Hooray. I think someone needs to work this. We're going to throw... I guess an engineer is going to go in there. <laughs> uh, so we... This is telling me... I'm not sure. Maybe because we have the wood now? Why did that pop up? I'm not sure. So, yeah. Go in there, engineer, and, and uh, do your uh, do your thing in there. Now, if we wanted to get a larger workforce, there's an easy way of doing that. And that's with kids. Okay, we have the tin wood. We're going to go for the beacon right now. And this will allow us to go do some searching. This is... this is. I don't think we can do it just yet. There's a, certain, there's a time period we can't do things. Yeah, we have to wait 15 hours in order to do a new policy. So we, I think what we're going to do is the... Uh, Child shelters, so people, the kids will go into a shelter, and they'll be safe. It makes people happy, and, well, it just makes people happy. Or we can send child labor laws, which makes hope go down a little bit, but kids can now work for us. So if we have a lack of people, I think we're going to do it. I mean, you know what? Kids, get to work. we got a sick person over here. Is my med bay, how's it doing here? We do have four patients. There's only five beds here, so we may need to up that. There's my meter for my research bar. So Cole's doing alright. Nothing has run out yet. We do have extra engineers. I should be using them for something. Um, engineers, get in here and just grab some wood. I'm going to use you just for now. For now, just do that. And then later on, I'll, I'll bring you in and you can do something else. Uh, we, um, 12 wood. I'd sure like to get some something else here. You know what we could do, actually? Let's build a road. All right, we're, we're, a lot of people are coming this way because they have they have multiple things to work on. So we're going to build a road here. We're just going to go straight back. We can even go around this different place, but we're just going to straight back here. They walk a lot faster when they have a road to walk on. It's like a wooden path, and I think that will help us out quite a bit. You can, you can see it coming in right there. That way, that they'll move a lot faster coming back to work here. Beacon has not been researched. To make a beacon, what do we need? We need 20 wood, 35 steel. We're short on both of those. No, we're not. We're short on steel. And yeah. Um, can I enact, can I enact a new law? Not yet. As soon as we can, I think kids are gonna go to work. Let me see here. We got 179 coal right now. Let me. Turn down this one to two. We're going to put these guys into the steel factory. That'll give us eight. I'm going to lower you a couple engineers, all your engineers, and put them in here too. That will hopefully add in some steel, which will allow us to build that beacon, because I want to get that done. All right, new tech. Uh, we got to go with, uh, with faster gathering. I'm thinking Hunter's Hut upgrade. When I played this one before, I, I played a bit, I, I dabbled my test game with this, and I, uh, food was an issue, so I think we will mess around with that. You can see we have zero raw, raw food, we have t 11 food rations though, and we got seven hungry people right now. So once that gets up, normally they bring back, I think it's, they bring back up to 15 raw food each day. If we do the upgrade, it makes it up, up to 20. How's the temperature doing everywhere? No, yeah, we're doing just fine actually. Okay. And we nearly have our 200 coal for that achievement, which we're not going to. We're not. We're never going to get that achievement done. Hmm. 
we should get that done. <laughs> All right, let's pass it on here. So everyone's gonna come in. They're gonna come into the fighting arena. You can actually see it in there. Folks are fighting in there. Oh, I, never, I didn't notice that before. They're all gathering around. There's a couple folks in there that are knocking each other's brains out for our enjoyment. All right, midnight lights out. Can we get a couple sick folks? Three sick, twenty-four hungry. Uh, what is this one? Two in treatment, one sick. 24 hungry. Yeah, we gotta get that. Maybe we should just build another one. This takes me 20 wood. This is 20 wood. Yeah, we have it. So let's build another hunter's shack. Uh, we'll put this one over here, I guess. Oh, we need a street. So just throw it over here. We don't have workers for this. But we can. So, child labor laws... So we can do safe jobs with this. That would be like collecting wood and steel and that kind of stuff. So, yep. Hope will go down a bit. I'm not entirely sure what happens if this com if this runs out. I haven't actually seen what happens with that. Should Kids should learn, not work. Well, they're going to learn how to work. Okay, so I want some of you kids. we got 15 kids available here. So we're going to send seven of them there. And we're going to send the rest of them here to gather some wood and some more wood. There we go. Here it is. Uh, crucial for uh, social stability of the city. They depend on the laws you pass and choices you make and tough decisions. Bad working and living conditions. Shortage of crucial resources. Deaths and various events also have an impact. It doesn't say, like, what happens if you go down, though. It doesn't say what happens if it's bad. I'm assuming, like, some sort of revolt or something. I'm sure something terrible happens. Okay. Looking good here. Okay, I think we're good. So, um, discontent is on the rise. Yeah, yeah, I know, I understand. Food's a problem, and, and kids are working. Uh, but well, I think it's a good place for, uh, call it a day here. So this is Frost Punk. It is not available yet. I'll put a link in the Steam, in the description for the Steam page, however. And you can check it out. Uh, it's getting very cold right now. We're down to 40 below now on day 4. Uh, but yeah, so, um, I think we're probably gonna continue this. I wanna see the full 10 days and see where we can get to, so... Um, we'll make another episode of this, and see how far we can get to. But for now... Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.